Howdy folks, this is Turtle, and welcome back to TW2016. Last week was the second week of television. We booked Thunder last time. Uh, there is a new player when it comes to the start for WCW. Is is the man called Vader? So, uh, yeah, let's continue the storylines and run the show. Uh, we kick off with a 73. Nice. Uh, with Sid Vicious, he's in the ring looking like a crazy person. And he's uh, talking about how he hates the NWO. Then the NWO come out. Minus Scott Hall, I had to send him to rehab. So there's no Scott Hall for a while. So Bret Hart, Kevin Nash, and Jeff Jarrett come out. And they have, a, they have an argument for a while. And Sid challenges Jeff Jarrett for the U.S. title, and that will be our main event. Uh, next, DDP, he's in an interview. He rants about the total package and how, the, how Lex has been stalking his gal, and he's not going to stand for it, and he's going to fight him at sold out for Kimberly's honor. Next, pre-match stuff from the Filthy Animals, the usual Conan shtick. Ray and Kidman are there. Tori's looking like a beautiful woman. In a decent match, the Filthy Animals and the Varsity Club defeated the Revolution in creative control when Rick Steiner defeated Patrick by pinfall of the Flying Bulldog. So yeah, gets a 58, not too bad for a mid-card match. Uh, given the faces a little bit of momentum into the four-way tag match for the tag titles, it sold out. Uh, backstage, we're with Norman Smiley. He runs into uh, Crowbar and David Flair. Crowbar obviously uh, going after the hardcore title. And... Uh, Norman's sort of afraid of them because they're kind of nutso. And Norman decides to uh, get a partner and face them in a tag match later on. In the office of the powers that be, powers that be berates Bam Bam Bigelow for, uh, well, essentially losing the open challenge that the powers that be told Bam Bam to make. And he, they didn't expect Vader would be around. So, uh, tonight, Bam Bam will be facing Terry Funk in a match. In a poor match, Vampiro defeated Ice Train in 650 by pinfall with a nail in the coffin. Just to give Vampiro a bit more momentum going into his match. And then Vampiro is with Mike Tanay. He's, uh, talking about Vampire and Big Tony Johnson and challenges Big Tony Johnson to an I Quit match at Sold Out. In a bout that didn't have much heat and terrible wrestling, Norman Smiley and the artist formerly known as Prince Iakea defeated David Flair and Crowbar in 801 when Norman Smiley defeated David Flair by submission with an Norman Conquest. Daphne accidentally hit Crowbar so yeah. Uh not much to say about that. Gets a forty seven. And a twenty nine. Oof. Uh Norman Smiley celebrating Crowbar attacks him. That's basically it. In a sixty nine, uh total package has a rebuttal for DDP. Uh, next, Canyon is being interviewed by Mean Gene. Uh, he talks a bit more about David Guerrera. In a terrible match, Juventud Guerrera defeated Lash Throw in 418 by pinfall with the Hoovy Driver. During the match, we also had Canyon distract Hoovy. So, yeah, that gets a 42, unfortunately. Uh, continues the storyline, though. In a 35, oof, 
Uvengura and Canyon brawl to the back. In a decent match, Bam Bam Bigelow and Drew with Terry Funk in 541 following a double countout. So yeah, nobody goes over right now. Gets a 59. Uh, Terry Funk gets beaten down by Bam Bam Bigelow. He gets the advantage and then Vader shows up in Queen's house. Get to 53. Jeff Jarrett cuts a promo on Sid Vicious, does the typical stuff, slap nuts, insults his intelligence, typical anti-Sid Vicious stuff. And in a 72, in a bout that had great heat and good wrestling, Jeff Jarrett defeated Sid Vicious in 909 by pinfall following interference from Kevin Nash. Jeff Jarrett makes defense number two of his WCW United States title. So... Decent mad, decent main event from Jarrett and Sid. And uh, Booker T and Ric Flair come out to uh, settle this. To, uh, even the odds against the NW, Bret Hart's not out here. So we're not having the Why Bret Y storyline right now. And the show. It gets a 70. I think that's our best rating so far. Still lost its popularity in 11 regions, but hey, we're improving, and that's the important thing. And uh, that's it for Nitro of the Go Home Week to sold out. Next, we've got Thunder and then the pay-per-view itself. So thanks for watching, everybody.